But we need to understand, again, my party people, first thing is always understanding what the goal of a question is. If you don't know what the goal is, you're going to get stuck. It's going to be frustrating. So the goal here is how many feet of wood will they need? But notice how in the same sentence we say if the furniture maker wants to make 48 chairs. So again, everybody, yes or no, do you see that the 48 chairs and the number of feet of wood, those are connected together? Yes or no, do you see that? Same sentence, if this, then that, right? If this, then how many of that? They're connected, they're connected, they're connected. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes, and if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So we'll say blank feet of wood and that makes 48 chairs. So if we look at the other information given in the problem, it says the furniture maker needs to use 12 feet of wood for every six chairs. So right there, 12 feet of wood for every six chairs. Everyone, do we even need to set up a proportion to solve this problem or could we just compare in the same way? Which way could we go? Which way could we go? It's gonna be interesting, right? Right, we can compare. This is gonna be pretty neat. We can compare pretty quickly and be done. So there's actually two ways to do this. And this is, this is gonna be a nice, neat one to show you. So first, you can go ahead and notice that, hey, um, I can go from six to 12, and that'll be times two. So let me actually just show the proportion to show the comparison. So I'm gonna say F feet of wood. So F feet of wood over 48. And you got that equaling the same way. So wood to chairs, wood to chairs. So I'll do 12 over six. Now, again, check this out. Look how neat this can be, everybody. If I zoom on in over here, I can go ahead and show you that, hey, right over here, I can go from six to eight, that's times two. And that means I'll compare the same way over here. Everybody, or excuse me, not times two, excuse me, wow. That's gonna be times eight going this way times eight going right to left, and we can do the same thing over here. Everybody, what's 12 times eight? Right, that'll be 96. F equals 96 feet of wood. You can also do it this way, my math party people. Look at this now. You can also go from six to 12. That's times two. That's just doubling. And so cool, you can do 48 to F. That's times two. Everybody, what's 48 times 2? What's that going to be? 96 again. F equals 96 feet. So again, you can get the same answer the right way both times, but it really does depend on your setup. Because if you would have accidentally swapped the 6 and the 12, you would have thought that you would have had to double the 12 to get to the answer, and you would have thought the answer was 24. But no, actually, or 48 you may have gotten as well, but the answer is 96. 96 feet and before you go if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that so you can lower that test anxiety raise that confidence go to this link right here to check out the full program there's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're going to get lessons guided practice worksheets speed drills and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass again i'm coach anderson and i'll see you soon